Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and today I will go over three different React projects that I feel will be really good for your resume. I'll go over one project that is beginner based, so it will be mostly for people who are just getting started. Um, I'll go a pro over a project that will be kind of more intermediate and already kind of good for when you start applying for jobs. And then finally, I'll go over a third project that if anyone has it on their resume, it will clearly show that they know React and will make them a good candidate. Now, I have personally put all of those projects in my pr resume in the past, and some of them even got me jobs. So I can vouch for them and I can tell you that um, they're great options and that they can even help you get a job. Now, since I have personally built um, the three projects, um, I'll have the code for an example of each project in the description. So if you're interested in checking that out just to get an idea of how to get started, um, I'll leave the link for the three projects in the description and you can check it out. So with that in mind, these are three different React projects that would be great additions to your resume. This video is sponsored by DataCamp. DataCamp is the best platform out there to learn data science. As many of you know, data has taken over the world, and if you're skilled enough to be able to interpret and analyze data, you can achieve a lot. And if you're looking to start learning data science, DataCamp is an online learning platform that makes acquiring data skills easier and more convenient for everyone. With over 350 data science courses taught by industry experts, you will be able to become a data expert without having to leave your own house. I took a data science course using R in my university, and honestly, it felt like it lacked some good beginner level explanations. So I'm kind of interested in taking the DataCamp SQL data science course, since the platform provides kind of a, like a cool gamified experience where I'm rewarded as I learn more. Overall, the platform is amazing, and I couldn't recommend it enough for anyone looking to learn data science. If you're interested in checking out DataCamp, check out my link that will be listed in the description, where if you click on it and go to the website, you'll be able to get the first chapter of any DataCamp course for free. So there's no reason for you not to check it out. Um, if you like the course, you can continue watching. But if you also want to support the channel, use the link that will be in the description. Again, thank you DataCamp for sponsoring this video, and let's continue watching. Okay, everyone. So let's get started by talking about the first project, which in this case is uh, basically a website which consumes an API. So a good example of that would be building something like a, a crypto app. So what would be a crypto app? It would be just a website which displays the data for real time um, cryptocurrency prices. It doesn't necessarily have to be about this at all. You can build infinite possibilities. Um, an example, as I've mentioned many times in the past, um, you could create a weather app, you could create um, something related to space, you can do a lot of stuff. Just choose a public API, and specifically I would recommend a free one because no one wants to spend money while coding, and um, just integrate it into your project. Now, why exactly is this an amazing project in my opinion? Well, because it looks a lot more complex and difficult than um, it actually is. For anyone who's been working with React for um, even just a month, you'll realize that um, creating a, a, some sort of a website, which is very simple, all it does is consumes an API and displays the information in some sort of cool way, um, doesn't take a lot of effort. Um, the only hard part I can imagine is kind of styling the website, which in that case, it would all be based on you. You can even copy CSS out there because again, the whole point is, is React, right? You're representing your React skills. So you can copy the CSS, make the website look really nice, and then um, just consume the API by using some sort of method of fetching data. Now, this is something you learn early on on your React um, journey or even when you're just working with JavaScript. And um, it's not that hard when you get used to it. This project will demonstrate that you know the basics such as props, components, um, basic um, like data fetching, um, some some ES6 and ES7 features. Also, we'll show employers that you're able to work with APIs because that's a very important thing. Um, many times, websites are not just static, right? They have some sort of API which is um, being used to feed data to the website. So if you are able to demonstrate that you can get data and handle it in, in a good way that makes the website looks nice, um, then you can definitely show that you're able to do whatever the job requires you to do. In this crypto app specifically, I wasn't actually the one who created this one. I created one similar, but I don't have the code anymore because it's been a while. 
Um, this one was created by one of my roommates and he put this in his resume as per recommendation from me and um, it helped him get some interviews. So it is something that actually works because as I mentioned before, it looks really nice. Together with the link for the code written by my friend in the description, I'll also put a link to a GitHub repository which I've used a lot of times in the past which basically gives you access to like a lot of public free APIs uh, that if you want to use for this project, you can just check it out and use it in your own. And now let's get into the intermediate project. Well, this is um, the first project out of the three which um, will actually incorporate more than just pure React because I would recommend in this case creating some sort of chat app. Now I vouched for chat apps so much in the past, I've mentioned it a lot of times, and I have tutorials on creating chat apps that you can check out if you want to. A chat app is in its core just a, a web app or an app um, which allows two users on different computers, different connections, to communicate with each other at real time sending data. Now, a good example of that is like WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger, something like that, right? And um, there's many things you can do with it and it isn't as hard as you might imagine. A chat app is usually done using um, WebSockets, which is a method of sending data real time really fast um, between two computers or two connections. And in this case, I would recommend in order to do that using a library very famously known as Socket.io. And it allows you to integrate WebSockets into your project very easily. Many companies deal with WebSockets. Many companies require you to handle some WebSocket connection using React. So demonstrating that you're able to do that and it will definitely show that to your employer that you kind of have an idea of how to work with industry level projects. Now there's many ways of actually building chat apps. Um, the way that I like the most is by um, creating the front end with React and then creating some sort of back end that will handle the, the, the back end um, socket stuff. Um, I would use something like um, Node.js or Express, which is usually what I've used in the past to create chat apps. However, there's other easier ways of doing it as well. You can use something like Firebase um, to do it and it will just come out the same way. Um, however, I, as I mentioned, I prefer using a backend because it does give you, give you the extra um, skill, which is knowing how to um, integrate uh, some sort of backend. Really simple, it doesn't have to be hard, but it shows that you're able to do that. Similarly to the beginner project, the reason why I choose chat apps is because it is really cool. You can think of so many things you can add on top of just a simple chat app. For example, you can um, add rooms, you can add private messages, you can allow users to send images and files, um, you can send, I don't know, stickers, you can um, detect if a, a, one of the users is typing, right? There's so many cool things you can do. So um, with that in mind, I definitely recommend creating a chat app. And again, if you want to check out my chat app that I have a tutorial on, the link for the video and for the code will be in the description. Now we get into the advanced project. So this project specifically, I've recommended um, many times in the past, I believe, especially in the comments to individual people who come into my videos, um, because I feel like people try to overthink too much what kind of projects they should put in their resume, what, what kind of stuff they should be building, and they all constantly overlook this very, very obvious cliche, but really good answer, which is building a social media website. Now I know everyone will have a social media website out there and that's totally fine. The reason why a lot of people put social media websites in their resume is because it works. A lot of people want to steer away from what the mass is doing because they want to stand out, but they constantly forget that the reason why a lot of people do one thing is because it works. And in this case, Creating a social media website and putting it in your resume demonstrates that you're able to do almost everything that uh, an employer looking for a React developer wants. To do this, you'll need to know how to structure a project because um, it is quite um, hard to get a project of this scale um, not knowing how to organize stuff and having code that is messy. So at the end of the day, it is expected that if you build a social media website that looks nice and, and has a lot of features, you'll get good at organizing stuff. Um, not to mention, you'll need to know more advanced React stuff. For example, you need to be able to handle authentication. You need to be able to handle state management. You'll be able to, like, you'll need to be able to do a lot of stuff 
that are essential and crucial for a full-time job, meaning that if you're able to do that, you're able to be hired. Also, there's infinite possibilities. You don't need to create um, a Facebook, for example. You can create anything you want. I personally put into my portfolio, I don't have it anymore, but I used to have in my portfolio um, a Pinterest clone, uh, which was basically, I just cloned Pinterest. I, I built something similar to it. And it is very simple. It isn't the best social media website out there. Um, I did have to do a lot of difficult stuff with it, including using a library like GraphQL or um, utilizing um, a lot of stuff for the backend as well. However, just being able to demonstrate that I know that stuff was able to lend me uh, an internship at Twitch, which a lot of you guys probably already know. Um, that was one of my projects in the resume. So if I was able to do it with that, um, I definitely think that you guys can do something similar with another social media project inside of your resume. Now, as I just mentioned, I built mine using GraphQL. However, you can check out the React part and how I organize my code for React in the GitHub repository in the description. Um, I definitely don't recommend just building the exact same thing as I did. Choose another social media website um, or just create the one, like whatever social media website you want. You don't need to clone a real website. However, just keep in mind all of the features that a normal social media website have. So um, that's basically it. With that in mind, those are the three projects that I would highly recommend that you would build and that I think will be really nice additions to your resume in the future. Now, if you have any questions or you have different opinions, leave a comment down below. I'll be happy to answer you guys. Um, I love having this kind of discussions with you guys because um, it gives me new perspectives and also I, I like to be able to give you guys more value than just uh, during the video. So if you guys want, comment down below. I'll be responding to everyone. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, thanks again for Datacamp for sponsoring this video and I see you guys next time.